So not too long ago, I decided to get a trip to Vietnam. Because I've been, I've been wanting to go over there because it's somewhere I'm kind of curious as to if I want to be. And I think it might be, and I will find that out soon. But um, I got a trip to Vietnam. Now, let me tell you guys how the last couple of days have went up to this point. As of we speak, I am in Hong Kong. And it's a, quite a nice place from just what I can see. The mountain ranges and things like that. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But I'll have pictures on my um, on something. Facebook, Instagram. I have pictures on something to show you guys uh, what this stuff looks like. Why do I see my finger showing up? Oh, it's my knuckle. That's crazy. But anyway, I'm going to have pictures um, up there so you guys can see. So let me tell you guys how my day went. So, I'm in Hong Kong right now. But this story goes back to when I was in Virginia. So I work in Virginia, I live in Virginia, and uh, I left to go here from JFK. So let's tell you guys. So I woke up 5 a.m. on Friday morning. Yeah, Friday morning. And uh, drove eight hours to New York in rain and thunderstorms the entire way. I got to New York. Oh, by the way, before I even left, I was starting to get sick. During the drive, I almost went full-blown sick. I'm sitting there coughing, sneezing. It hurts every time I sneeze. Um, it, it was just really super, super uncomfortable. So I'm doing an eight-hour drive, getting rained on, coughing and sneezing. Terrible. Just absolutely terrible. I get to I finally make it to New York. I have no energy. I'm completely dizzy. I almost died like three times on the road from just hydroplaning. I'm, I'm, luckily, I have skills with driving, so I didn't have to worry about getting body like that, but I almost got body. Um... I was coming around a corner, and it was like a puddle, like a giant, it looked like, it looked like a mini lake in the street, and I hit it, and I went sliding a little bit, but I got control over it, but still, it was, was kind of scary, you know? But long story short, I get to New York. Now, when I get to New York, I go to my friend's house, and the first thing I do is I'm just too dizzy to even stand up, and then I start getting a fever, so now I'm, I'm probably running like 101 fever. I'm freaking dying. I'm like super done. It's like just finished. So I lay down for maybe like 30 minutes. I had to do a bunch of errands. The nighttime comes. I have a flight at, at JFK Air, uh, International Airport at like, I think I had to be there at, and my flight left at nine, and it's an international flight, so you always want to get there two and a half to three hours earlier. Um, so let's start from there. I, I, um, I go to lay down the other night. Well, you know, Saturday, we left Friday, we got to New York eight hours later, and then Friday night we tried to go to sleep. I couldn't go to sleep because of my cold. Um, one of my nostrils, for some reason, would always be clogged, and the other one would be completely open, but the one that's completely open was super dry, so every time I started breathing, it started burning. Isn't that crazy? I've never had that happen before. Anybody ever had that happen? Where your, your nostrils so dry that it just starts burning and you can't even really breathe regularly? That happened. So I couldn't sleep, so I gave up on trying to sleep. I went and see my brother. Uh, Zis, you guys, some of the OGs, my, my ace of spades, my, my, my triple OG OGs will probably remember who he is. But um, I went to go see him, and that was fun. I was running around all night just having fun, you know, just hanging out with my bros. Um, what ended up happening is I did not sleep on Friday. So the last time I slept was Thursday. Mind you, I drove eight hours, got while sick, stayed sick, ran a bunch of errands, stayed up all night. And then we get down to the point where I was driving all around and I got home at 4 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. So I get out the car. It's not raining, mind you. As soon as I get out the car, I go literally over to open my trunk and then pouring torrential downpours happen. I get drenched. I get my stuff out the car. I call an Uber and I'm waiting for an Uber to take me to the airport. I'm sick as a dog at this point. If I sneeze, it hurts. My ribs hurt. Everything hurts. If I cough, it hurts. Everything hurts. And I'm just sitting there, like with a super high fever. And I take some Dayquil at night. Uh, I don't just try, I don't trust Nyquil. I take some Dayquil at night, and then my brother's like, "Yeah, have a shot of this uh, this this whiskey. It, it, it'll, it'll help." And I'm like, "Yeah, whatever, fine." So I took a shot of the whiskey. Uber driver comes. I get in the car. I get about maybe 15 minutes away from. The airport and I start getting these crazy like uh, these crazy cold sweats like I was shivering but at the same time I felt like I was about to throw up I was legitimately kind of scared I was just like man I've never had something like this happen before so 
what does this mean? Does this mean you're about to get bodied? Whew, I didn't know. Um, so I started getting really, really hot. I was sweating like crazy. Like, I haven't sweat like that ever. Like, we're talking like everything was drenched. I was super cold, but sweating crazy. I was dying, bro. And I asked him, I was like, bro, you think you can pull over? He's like, oh, I'm three minutes away. I'm like, oh, thank God. I roll down the window and 30 degree air hits me and I'm just like, Ugh. mind you, I'm I'm cold, but I'm sweating like I'm like I'm in a sauna with bad clothes on. I get out of the car. I barely can stand up. I'm super weak because of this cold. It's murdering me. It feels like it could be the flu. Um, I, and this is all happening back to back with no sleep. I get in the airport and I was misinformed and I thought that, I, you know, I'm going to be enough. I thought that I wouldn't need my visa until I got to Hong Kong or I can get the visa in Vietnam. That's why it was supposed to work. But no, I get the, and mind you guys, I left super early, super early. And I got there at 6 a.m. And I got in there and you, you know what they're telling me? You're not going anywhere without a visa. And there's a huge line of people and I'm sitting there like, yo, come on, son, are you serious? So, I went through all that, no sleep, get to there, I need a visa, I gotta jump on the phone, call my girlfriend to let her know what the deal is. She, we're like brainstorming, trying to figure out what we need to do. I only have about two hours at this point, not even, if you count check-in and security, I maybe got 45 minutes to figure this out. So I'm hitting all these people up, I'm calling agencies, it's a Saturday morning at like, it's a Saturday morning at like 6 a.m., 7 a.m., so you know, you're not gonna find too much. So I'm hitting all these people up. I'm grinding, I'm grinding, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I find out that I can get an expert, uh, expedited visa to go to Vietnam for $219 on the spot. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I had to take that L, and I end up getting my visa after going through hell on the phone. Hell, I had to, I tried to pay for it three times with my card. It got declined because the payments were going to Vietnam, and my bank stopped it. I had to call my bank. They were closed. Then I had to call the fraud line. The fraud line picked up. I had to wait on hold. The entire time waiting on hold, my girlfriend's on the line with the Vietnamese number, which is uh, the customer service with the Vietnamese number. I tried to call that number from my phone. It wouldn't work. So I'm sitting here stressing the hell out. I finally get it done. I get my visa. I get in there. I get on. As soon as I get in, I have to get on the planes reboarding. And then now I'm on the flight. I'm going to get to what happened on the flight short. But I just wanted to let you guys know how the first couple of days of this trip went. So before I even got out the country, that's what I was dealing with. And I was dying. So we grinded out. We got through it. We got here. And now we're going to make it count. We are still in this airport. I'm waiting for the next flight. Uh, it comes in about... Mm, I, I got aboard in like 40 minutes. So I just want to hit you guys with this quick video real quick and let you guys just know what's going on. But yeah, man, we got more coming. I'm not, I'm not done with this story yet, so keep a lookout. Nah, screw it. Let's just finish it up, right? So I get on the plane. And I'm on the plane. And remember, I haven't slept. I know that there's going to be a time change. I know that I'm going to be switching time zones. So I'm preparing for that so I don't have to deal with jet lag. Because I just feel like... I shouldn't have to deal with jet lag, but we'll see how that works. If you prepare correctly, you shouldn't have to. So I stayed up for 48 hours, and the sun's up right now, even though it's technically 3 in the morning, and I feel okay. I'm a little delusional, but I'm all right. So I think I should be good until the sun goes down, and then we go from there. But I am excited. So I'm on the plane, and I'm trying to sleep. I can't sleep because this nostril thing is going on where I'm getting, I'm like burning. I'm in a, such a small space. I'm mad cramped up. Tell me how this flight was 15, 16 something hours. 16! I'm sitting in a, in a crushed up spot for 16 hours and I can't breathe and I'm, I'm fucking body aches. If I cough or sneeze, I, I deal with muscle spasms that are like unprecedented, like something that I've never even dealt with before and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I can't sleep. Can you imagine not being able to sleep because if you breathe, it burns? I go through that for 16 hours in a cramped up space, pissing like a madman because I keep drinking mad fucking water and I just keep pissing, keep pissing, keep pissing. Because I'm trying, my body's trying to fight off this cold. So I'm going through times where I'm hot. I'm going through times where I'm cold. I'm like, I'm just done. But I fought through it all and got here. And next stop will be in Vietnam. And I'm definitely going to be documenting everything that goes on from this point forward. So guys, you will have content. I'll keep all the videos under 10 minutes. So you guys can kind of, you know, go straight through. And then when I have more time, I'll highly edit, like, footage from when I'm outside and stuff like that. So keep a lookout. And subscribe if you're new. Just a dude in Vietnam is what we're going to be doing out here. So, my name is Aces Galvin. Anybody new to the channel, subscribe. See you guys soon.